Hello everyone, it is Tobias with Automation and Controls with Tobias. Um, I have to say, we are here again with the end gate. Um, as you can see before, the different forms of logic that were, or the states that were used in the logic gates. Um, as you can see that the inputs controlled or predicted uh, what the output was. Um, I guess we will go back and forth and um, we will um, reference um, the gates and I know the gates but I just I guess I want you to see so let's go back and forth and let's reference the gates okay let's go um here um we have our inputs i have labeled them a and b you see that they're input zero slash zero input zero slash one and to the side we have um, the output Y which is output 0 stands 0. Um, for the states we can automatically do this right now while it is running and you can see um, what is going on. Um, if you see that um, input um, 0 slash uh, if there is a zero and a zero in the input, you will not have an input. So A zero, B zero. If there is um, a zero and a one in the input of B, there will still um, be no um, output. So let's go back. So now we have zero, zero, and zero for the output. Um, we have zero for A, one for B, no output. We have one for A, zero for B, no output, and we have input one as one and B as input A as one, B as one, and we have an output for um, the, we have a high output because you see the green status. Um, this was something that I wanted to show you all. Um, because it is um, very important. Um, we also can look at the um, data table and in the data table we can see a one and a one that is zero would have been A and one would have been B. You see there are two um, high inputs and if we were to look at the output, you would see that we get a high output um, in uh, the output zero. So I just wanted to show you that um, to verify what I was telling you um, for the end gate, you could simply go to the um, data table and verify that and you will see the high inputs and whenever you have an input both inputs are high the output is going to be high so i thought that um i would add a lab to the lecture earlier that way you would see exactly what i was talking about what happens in the process of ladder logic and boolean's algebra when you add um you have an AND gate and what is the outcome in the uh, output. Um, 
that is all and thank you have a good one